Hi, this is Diana, and today I have an unboxing from T2. So this is an Australian company, and this is, I think, my third order with them. Um, I ordered two things around the holiday time because they were having like a 50% off sale, and now they're having another wonderful sale. So these things were actually more than 50% off. Okay. So I had it wrapped. So let's see. Okay. So it's a big black box. And let's take a look. So it comes with one of these cards and it has a nice um, string on here. Okay. Inside they have some nice um, wrapping paper and um, some of this, uh, uh, what is it, padding packing material. Okay. So the first thing I got is this eggnog tea. It's a loose leaf black tea. This is a hundred grams. So it says eggnog, that sweet luscious concoction at the center of so many Christmas traditions, a delicious mess of creamy custard like flavors. This Yuletide treat is loved for its indulgent dessert flavors. Um, it's perfect on its own or with a dash of milk. And the ingredients are black tea, sweet blackberry leaves, natural and artificial flavoring, condensed milk, vanilla, eggnog, caramel, hazelnut, hazelnut brittle, and nutmeg. And it contains tree nuts. So it is June now. <laughs> it is not the Yuletide time. So instead of $26, which was the normal price for this, it was $10. Okay. Mmm. So I can smell it through the bag. It has like a nice, um, it sort of smells like vanilla. Did I say vanilla? I did, yes. Yeah, so it, it does smell like black tea with vanilla. I'm definitely excited to give this a shot because I did want to get it at the holiday time and I feel like they might have been sold out or for some reason I, I wasn't able to get it at that time. So that is eggnog tea. Oops. So these tins, I don't have any of these tins. Not really sure how it goes. I don't think they really lock very well. So I'm not sure if I need to get like another container inside there to keep it fresh or what, because this does not seem to have like a super tight seal. Okay. Ouch. Ah, don't pinch your fingers. So the next tea is trifle. It says trifle delicious. It's a loose leaf fruit to zane. It's 100 grams. It says, a luxuriously decadent concoction, layering notes of fresh fruit jelly with sweet sponge cake. The whole thing topped off with rich vanilla custard and lashings of cream. The result is a winner that'll appease any diehard dessert lover. The ingredients are apple, grapes, black chokeberries, carob, hibiscus, beetroot, elderberries, white cocoa butter, natural and artificial flavoring, black currants, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. So that sounds delicious. Let's see. Mm. So I can smell this one through the bag as well. And it smells like Definitely berries and cream. That's what it smells like. So I'm sure it's very true to the trifle flavor. Yum. So let me see, did that one have hibiscus in it? 
it does have hibiscus. So I don't think you can turn this one into a latte, unfortunately. I like to turn a lot of things into lattes. So the next one, this is called Banana Fritter. And this is a limited time tea. It's another fruit to Zane. It is 100 grams. And this one was also $10. These were all $10, all three of these. And so this one says, banana fritter, sweet ripe bananas dipped in thick luxurious batter, fried until crispy, sprinkled with nuts and drizzled with ample golden syrup. Inspired by humble yet heavenly banana fritters, this blend is a celebration of indulging in a little nostalgia. The ingredients are apple, rooibos, barley malt, caramel pieces, sugar, glucose syrup, carob, roasted chicory root, sweet blackberry leaves, cinnamon, almond, banana chips, natural flavoring, natural banana flavoring, and marigold petals. And it does contain almonds, barley, and coconut. So this one I thought would be interesting. Yeah, so I was excited to try this one. I've only had, I think, one banana tea so far. Ooh. It's a little harder to smell this one through. Like I can smell it, but like through the packaging, I'm not getting like super um, banana flavors. So that'll be interesting. I don't know why these tins are so clunky. Like, see how it's like not closing properly? I already pinched my finger once. All right, so I guess that's closed. And then the last thing here is banana bake. And this one was actually not on sale. It was $12 for 100 grams. So I thought, okay, that's totally reasonable. So this one says, robust black tea with hints of banana take you away to a picture perfect winter's day, all snuggled up with a cuppa and munching on a warm loaf of banana bread. It's perfect on its own or with a dash of milk. The ingredients are 87% black tea, 5% banana chips, sugar, honey, natural banana flavor, natural and artificial flavoring, cream, brittle, and banana, hazelnuts, and marigold blossoms. Let's see. I can definitely smell the bananas for this one. I don't know if you can see through there, but it is a black tea and you can see that it has some banana pieces in there. There's a nice big chunk at the top. So I thought it'd be interesting to try the black tea and also the banana fruit to Zane. Okay. So that is all for my T2 mini summer haul. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope that you're having a lovely day and um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Please check out my other videos, like and subscribe and say hi in the comments. Thanks so much. Take care.